Welcome to this episode of Poor Man Mods. Today we're going to be building, rebuilding the KA24 that we recently painted a few episodes back. Uh, I got my rebuild kit in, so we're going to go ahead and put it together. Uh, today working with us is the high guy, Hi. also known as Eric. <laughs> he owns the Honda down the street, and uh, he's going to be helping us out today since this will be my first motor rebuild, and this will be his third or fourth, so he knows a little bit more than what I do. So we're going to go ahead and attempt this, and you guys are going to watch the entire time. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we have the old main bearings that are in here, and the engine has five here, one on the, one on the block side, and one that actually holds the, the crank in place on the other side. So Main caps. Main caps, right. Um, as you see, you got oil holes in each of the bearings, and this is to allow oil to recirculate through and, and uh, allow for good lubrication. Uh, Sun motors have main bearings that have sides on like this to keep the crank from moving side to side. And this bearings. is called a thrust bearing. Right. Um, Eric actually informed me that his Honda motor does not have this bearing. However, it does have a bearing, but it has sides that aren't connected to the bearing. Which didn't make much sense when he told me, but I guess it makes sense when you're dealing with a Honda. <laughs> so, uh, we're just going to put the new bearings in here, lube it up real good, and place the crank back in place. So why are we rebuilding it in the first place? Funds. No. It initially was a full build KA. Initially. However, some problems occurred, uh, and it, it, I just need to get it back together and have the car movable. Basically all it is now. So we're in the process of looking for a uh, place to get a shop to do this kind of work where I can get the car in somewhere and not have to worry about it sitting. So that's that's what, what's going on here. What I forget to say, bearings only go in one way. Yeah. Which way do they go in? Teeth knife right. The one tooth nipple. Okay. Here. Now, as far as breaking this motor in, Dan, you're going to need five quarts of that SA30 non version gym. The infamous parts part cleaner. Parts part cleaner? Brake parts cleaner. There it goes. As long as you gotta do it straight up and down. The won't go right. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I need more lube. That's what she said. That's what happens. Oh, that's okay. It gives me a lot of day. Yep, that's front. It's ironic there's dramatic music playing in the background. Wow. I've had it and it? I'm like... Do I have to count it? I had it with Beth the only other day. I ain't gonna tell him you gotta do for the center out. Why don't you just say it? Because I don't like to talk on camera. You gotta get used to it. That's for the head. That's what it is. Same concept. Okay. You rolling? Yes. Okay, we're putting the crank uh, main caps back on here. We have the crank seated inside here. We're going to go and work our way out. So he's going to tighten on this one, and then from there we're going to go to this one, and then from here we're going to go out to the outer one, and then from there we're going to go out to this one, and then work our way along. You always want to go inner to outer when you're tightening down things with motor. And you always want to get the right foot pounds. So he's going to be doing that. He's going to be doing that. 
because you're wrong. You're right, I'm wrong. <laughs> See, that's why you, you should just say it. You gotta just say it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Well, just say that. See, that sounded perfect. You just did that. Yeah, just yeah. say it. You're the one working on it. Just, just look at the. Just look at Yeah, I just told you what to say. Okay, look, you won't even be looking at the camera. Bye. Just, you. the camera's not even on, just talk. So right, you gotta torque them from the center out. So pretty much you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Good. How many foot pounds? Between uh, 34 and 38. Are they? And and and, and, and it clicks like that. So we just put it on. Look at how nice and easy that glides. Wow. That's exactly what you want. Cool. Yeah, well, you know what? Some people would think maybe it's supposed to be rigid. Maybe it's not. And the answer is not. You want it to be a smooth, fluent maneuver here. And this is actually feels better than what it did before it came out. <laughs> I hate to say it, but... <laughs> so maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> Hopefully it runs cool. <laughs> Maybe, maybe it'll run like V8 soon. <laughs> no. Maybe not. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. <laughs> it's just because your GTRs and. <laughs> I already made a comment. I already made a comment. It's fucking GTR. Since you're charging your thousand more dollars, you're gonna make a thousand more dollars. This guy only did make a thousand. Almost. Close to it, right? You yeah. only missed about six hundred or something. Dude. It died at 290, so... <laughs> You're damn close to the house. Hell yeah! Is that 290 all-wheel drive? Yes, that's the all six wheels, actually. All six wheels? Look at this, get this. That's getting sick. Why would you take that? <laughs> I got it! <laughs> that's not going to That's the same when it goes... Oh, what a guy's shit! Move your head. Yeah, get it out. There you go. <laughs> no, you're building a 240 motor on a 240 seat. <laughs> While a cat's throwing up? <laughs> She's like, oh, look, I'm gonna eat it now. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me, let, me let me see what this looks like. Cool. Looks good. What do you think? Okay. So there's my new Eagle rods. I went ahead and got new rods when I was in the middle of buying parts for the KA. <laughs> so you can see the difference between stock rods aftermarket rods and these are stock pistons but you know who cares so this is the number one done yeah you're right says the guy that's never informed in mods tony fine oh by the way he had a printer fall on today thanks dan that's relevant to the build <laughs> just gotta put it in there and then we can introduce the 240, Tony. Yeah, there you go. You can take 240 back. What do you think? Want to do that? It's a good day for it. It's a perfect day for it. It's not a good day for it. I don't burn it up on any of my neck cards, so I don't want to take a fucking painkiller. Just be done with that. Bring the infamous 240 down. Poor man Mods hasn't seen the 240 yet, Tony. Alright. Pull my parole. Hey, look at my valve cover, Tony. Bring see your valve cover down. Show me your valve. Oil pans are done. Hey, does your valve cover say VTEC, Dan? That's beautiful. Yeah, that's why he'll never keep up with me. Three coats of collar and two coats of... Uh, Junk cats and snap ring pliers. Who bought these pieces of shit? Dan, I told him not to like five times. Eric, go get yours. Or Mike, go get yours. Well, I think you need to learn a lesson, Dan. Well, Eric's Eric, learning that lesson. Well, not I know. Dan. I'm not learning a lesson. I'm just watching the guy that's assembling my engine learn a lesson. <laughs> Yeah, Eric. Don't ever let anybody tell you that they have the tools to do the job. You want the job done right? Eric, Bring your own tools. Bring your own tools. Eric, I'm that quick working on my Corolla. <laughs> Tony, you got a 12 mil socket? Yeah, a Craftsman. They broke in half. Damn it! Actually, that's funny because I do have a 12 mil socket and it's cracked in half. <laughs> it's a Craftsman. <laughs> I broke a 14. Uh, I don't make these things up. <laughs> in the in the transmission mount video, I broke a 14 yeah. millimeter, millimeter craftsman. It was like negative 23 degrees outside. I believe if you watch the end of the video, you guys say 
oh, it's colder, so tools should be stronger. <laughs> we were being sarcastic. And then I said, <laughs> no, I already broke that a socket. That was after the fact I said it's always best to work on tools when it's below zero outside. Work on tools? Work on cars with tools when it's below zero outside. Okay, whenever you get rings for pistons, you're going to have bags, and these, these bags label are labeled. First ring for the for the piston, second ring for the piston, and then you got your oil scraper um, bunch rings. So what I'll do, I'll show you here what I exa what exactly mean. So the first ring for the first bag is going to be the top piston ring, okay? The second one's obviously going to be the second one, and the third the third slot is going to have both metal rings along with the actual scraper part. So the top two are for compression, the bottom slot here is for scraping oil off the cylinder. And the high guy's putting them all together? Yeah, I've, done, I've assembled one. He's more or less double checking my work. When you put the oil scrapers together, you gotta make sure you butt them and you can't, you can't overlap them like this. You gotta butt them together. And when you do it, you got to put that in. Obviously, the bottom ring. Yeah, the scraper goes put, in first, and, and then, then you put your clips in the other seat. These go on top and bottom of that. They actually hold the oil scraper in with the little groove things on the back of the scraper. Have you ever done pistons? It's actually pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. And Eric's being a little more aggressive than I was, so I guess they can take a lot of abuse being bent around. Not really. Yeah, Eric's being a beast at it. And unfortunately, we don't have spares, so... I'm not going to break any. We... Look, did I break any? No. It is, our, it is our last piston, so... Oh, come check out the crank. Well, he's not finished yet, butthole. Yeah, but I want to check out the crank, so you We can check out the crank when he's done putting the rings on. No, show him the crank right now. Well, no. Show him how, how easy it flies. Okay. Show him how easy it flies, Mike. No one cares. Everybody cares. No one this cares. This is the drivability of your engine. If this is hung up, it will not run. First. When you put them in the bore, the gaps here, you got to make sure they're 45 What'd degree offset. Why don't you want them lined up? Because that'll just be a hole. Not a hole. It'd be a, it'd be a straight line of oil not being scraped off the cylinder. Stop recording me! You're Houdini, though. <laughs> You're gonna need some room. Really? Do you like being on the camera? Because I don't. Nah, I don't really. That's what I love. That's, that's nice. Why. It's cool. It's you gotta get used to it. Yeah, dude. It's fun. No, then you can see yourself afterwards and look like a complete that. asshole. I don't really care about that. I just I'm not having the best of days. Why? <laughs> what happened? Our pressure fell on me. <laughs> there, I said it on camera for you. A 90 pound HP 4025 DN fell on bottom two feet above. <laughs> I'm currently. Who are you pointing at? That little boy. Oh no, he's just fat, not kidding. <laughs> He's flamboyant looking. Well, that's just because he's flamboyant. <laughs> he might be heterosexual. Or metrosexual. What or are metro. you taping over this, this? This is Dan's Husky Bro, the toughest name in tools, air compressor. Go ahead and read it. Board. What is it? Cast iron pump, 60 gallon ASM, no. tank, 3.2 horsepower. Oh, that's very good, Dan. You, you invested some money in that. How much did that cost you? More than I'm putting in the motor. <laughs> More. <laughs> <laughs> it cost you more than the 240 cost. <laughs> and this is why I hate my life. <laughs> why do you hate your life? This isn't a documentary. It is <laughs> now. You, it so he's on fucking camera for the past 20 minutes. The only know. bad thing that happened to you today is a printer fell on your face. Dan, Dan <laughs> what are you doing to the block? <laughs> and the fucking camera's on Tony. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing to the block today, Tony? Oh, wait a minute, you're here. Did you give me another pistol? <laughs> All right, this tool here just compresses the rings so you can slide it down into the board without breaking a ring. And notice on your pistons, there's going to be marks. There's a dot. In each piston, there's a dot. And our dots go to the front of the motor. So make sure you're putting the pistons in correctly. Where's my hammer? Also, it's worth noting that if it gets hung up during installation, you shouldn't force it. You may break a ring. Well, how do we understand that? 
experience, trial, and the air. Perfect. Broken ring. Broken ring. Right about there. -ish. It broke it, 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 it. So there we go, guys. Bottom end is ready to be installed in the car. <laughs> no, it's not. It doesn't need. It doesn't need to be connected Just to that. Just that injector. You're good to go. Just injector. <laughs> The bearing installed in the bottom of the rod. Salute! So Salute! <laughs> so put it on here, like so. And then we, and went, then then we, we do that. Then we went ahead and did that. <laughs> yeah. Install that. that. You install this. Then we did that. Be sure to know your torque specs before you get any further than this point. Yeah, nothing's been torqued down yet. Yeah, nothing. Nothing, nothing been has been torqued down yet. What are the torque specs? Do I know? We have those uh, between paper. 10 to 20. 100 foot pounds. <laughs> between 0 and 200. Oh, wow. Come on, <laughs> Also, if you're using the Eagle connecting rods, it's worthwhile to mention that you're going to need an 11 millimeter 12 point socket. Yep, that was actually is, a really good point because that's what these are. And that's kind of these a These are Eagle one. rods, aftermarket rods, like I said, good for 400 horsepower. Which, how much will you be making? Probably um, 550. Stock motor in the KA makes around 150. I'm expecting to make 120. Why? No, I'm just kidding. No. It's, it's, you should be making 390. Make it 390? Yeah, stock. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Talk about putting the motor back together. And it ran until we put 20 pounds on. I think people we're know how to torque we're, down bolts. We're, we're doing... Everything nice and good, you know. You go to the so what we have here are the pistons with the rings and the rods attached to the crank. And as you see, you can see that the ring is in more working order. Um, well, we don't want to oil the cylinders. And that's why I'm doing. Yeah, this. when you want to, whenever you install new pistons, you always want to keep the cylinder walls oiled up. Natural because there's metal against metal, you want to keep that. The shavings, well, not shavings now, but you want to keep it lubricated the entire time, so that's what we went ahead and did. We used 30 weight non detergent? Yeah. Eric suggested that we use, where's that, Eric? Non detergent oil. You can pick it up at Advance Autos or any kind of auto store. Um, just enough to, you know, more or less, why do we use non detergent oil? It's just a break in the oil. Break in oil. There you go. He suggested that once this motor is complete in the car, we want to do as much quarts of oil with the non detergent, run it for about idle for 20 minutes, change it, change the filter, then drive for about 100 miles with a clean filter and more 30 weight oil. So there and you go. Right the, the this is the break in period for a rebuilt engine. So that's so what the, we're trying to do. So the bottom end's done. The bottom end is done. What we're going to try and go ahead and do is um, attach my sprocket. We're going to put the oil pump Oil pump with timing cover, okay, this part of the timing cover, and the oil pump on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that on and hopefully get the oil pan on tonight so that the whole bottom side of the motor is completed. So at this point, we have no clue what we're doing. And, uh, Dan is working diligently at restoring the timing guide from this <laughs> thing. And uh, Eric is putting the head studs in here. Looks nice, doesn't it? It'll come together. It'll run one day. And uh, here's the, the parts bin that Dan's got to work with. <laughs> Don't forget the stuff behind you too, Tony. Yeah, there's, there's, there's that. And then there's, there's all this down here where my, my foot is. And that's looking great. How long is we ready to bolt it in the car? Oh, five, um, ten minutes? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes? That's about how long it's gonna run. No, I actually have, I think it's what I was about to say, I have high confidence in my, my, my mechanic friends here. I think I that this will run. Warranty. We have a startup warranty from Eric, who's our resident actual mechanic. Mike is over here keeping the seat warm for Dan. Alright, so we have the head on, and the timing gear. And uh, everything here is looking pretty good. We got our ARP head studs in. The head is secure. And uh, installed. Everything's looking pretty well here. Thank God Eric finally figured out how the timing gear works. Dan just couldn't, couldn't get it together. But Fuck you. We're, uh, we're, we're good to go thanks to, thanks to Eric. Fuck you guys.
then might get something Eric next time. Eric wants to cut this. Yeah, Eric wants to cut our head gash. I got done what I said I wanted to get done with Eric's help. We've been working diligently together. Uh, like always, we took our time. Uh, completed this probably an hour and a half, I would say, tops. But I went, 30 minutes. Went ahead and did. <laughs> what I went ahead and did was go ahead and put the oil pan on after we went ahead and put the timing cover on. <laughs> now we got everything done here. Oil pans in, oil pumps in, timing chain, lower part, and the... Uh, I was trying to get it up there. <laughs> Still need to do the top end. Still got the top end to do. But you guys can see. Yeah. Chain, sprocket, timing yeah. chain cover, lower part, on. Basically the bottom end of this motor is completed. All we need to do is put the pulley on and put our cams in, obviously, tighten out our you know our heads just, just back, the torques back and You didn't put the oil pump on yet over here. <laughs> oh I forgot about the oil pump here, because the filter is inside the pan. Yeah. That was a boo boo. We want to thank the high guy for pointing that out on, <laughs> on that. High guy. <laughs> Blue. So, we might tackle a little bit more tonight, but I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this is everything I wanted to get done today, so I got the most of the majority. Which the is done. nothing most that you wanted to get and everything that you didn't want to get? Exactly. See, I got these guys straight. Most of the majority. Most of the majority. So that concludes this episode of Poor Man Mods. We appreciate you watching this episode of Four Man Mods. Tony, say bye bye to the camera. Dude, this is your debut. I don't know. Watch out for falling printers. That's my advice to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Not that close. You. Welcome to this episode of Four Man Mods. Today we're going to be rebuilding the KA24DE and my 240 Nissan.